You've been watching too many of those satisfying ASMR cooking videos and now you can't go to sleep without watching one. Well, that's rough, buddy. Hey guys, I'm about to buy Kai. I'm Kai and Tay. We're back once again taking a look at how to make some cool uh, 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 voxel uh, pixel stuff in Blender. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. I made a couple of things like this in the past and it's actually super easy to do. Um, and it's actually very very fun. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna drag a box over top of our uh, uh, Over top of our, our lamp here um, and just hit delete on that now We're actually gonna use default cube. It is it's it's bros day it's, It hasn't been bros day in a long time, but it's bros day today So I'm gonna hit seven on my numpad to go into the top view the top down view um, I'm gonna go up to the top and make sure that I have this little magnet turned on that's the uh, obviously that's the um, That's the magnet mode better known as um, snap and we're going to go ahead and click this little drop down and change this uh, uh, to scale. So we can add scale on that, which means that the scale is now going to be able to uh, snap to the grid, which is what we want. So when we hit S, you can see that it snaps. I'm going to go ahead and just make this smaller. Now, you could just use these big, big, big sizes for the voxels here. Um, this would be like one individual voxel. We could just like move and do like that and whatever. But I do like making it a little smaller so they're a little, little easier to work with. So everything's not ginormous. So let's go ahead and hit S to, go, to scale. Uh, this down we'll scale it down to the smallest it can possibly go and you know obviously we'll we'll, we'll go about right there um because we don't want it to go any smaller really um and then we can go ahead and just start using this so we can change the material before we start duplicating this out i'll change this to a solid black color go to the material uh, tab and then go to uh, principal bsdf and i'm going to change this to emission so it has no you know shadows no shading on it and then i'll change the color to solid black there you go now, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and start duplicating this out. So, just select your little voxel here, the default cube. Um, we'll call him Greg, and then we'll hit Shift D, and then move it up. We'll just start making, you know, making some cool uh, making some cool art here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and make something super simple, like a little sword. Um, and if you need to grab a, a few things at the same time, you can, of course, just go ahead and drag a box over top of that. And then just duplicate it all at once like this and make things a little easier on yourself. Make that little sword up there. And then maybe we'll put, like... A little uh, a little a little hand guard here what are these called I can't for the life of me I can't think of what these are called like uh, it's not called a hand guard it's called like a hilt or something like that I think I can't I can't remember right now for the life of me I don't know it's super hot in my apartment and I'm you know I'm losing my mind I think slowly um, I think that looks nice I think it's a little little large I think maybe this isn't big enough maybe we'll grab all these and then move it over by one um, like that so then we have more of a more of a, a thing like that yeah sure I mean the handle is kind of large now and this doesn't look big enough so let's go ahead and move that up by a couple and then we'll just kind of fill in the gaps there uh, but yeah this is super easy to do obviously and it's actually a lot of fun and then once we're once we're done with the with the line art I'm gonna go ahead and actually move all this up by uh, two so that the center of this point right here is in the middle um, that'll help us out later on you'll see why but, uh, but yeah, so we, maybe we can go ahead and fill all this in. I'm going to turn this to material viewport mode up, up top right so we can see the colors though. So I'll grab one uh, voxel here and then we'll hit shift D, duplicate that and then put it right there. I'll go to the uh, colors tab again, materials tab, sorry. And I'll click this little 49 or whatever that number is right there and we'll call this, uh, we'll call this uh, uh, a gray. We should have named the other one uh, black, but we'll do that right now. Um, call that black. And then this one that's called gray, we'll go ahead and make it a lighter color. And there we go. Add a little bit of blue to it, maybe just for that, for that nice cold steel look. There you go. Um, and then we can go ahead and just duplicate this out. And then just uh, go all the way down. And now we can go ahead and actually do like this. Grab all three of those. And then just copy paste. Uh, uh, Shift D, duplicate that all the way down like that. Super easy way to get that going. Um, now, with the next uh, material I want to do, we'll grab this. Hit Shift D, put that piece right there. Hit the little 24, and then we'll change this to a color. I want to change this to red. So we'll make that a nice little red. Maybe it's like an emerald or something. Maybe an emerald. Hello? Am I okay? A little ruby or something like that. Um, and then I'll hit Shift D, duplicate it again. Hit the two on that, and then we'll change this to another different color. Now, I want to go with something uh, just normal here. So we'll do like a little bit of a darker blue, maybe. Something like that, just to give that a little bit more of a different look. Now, I think... I'll do the same with this down here we'll call this one gold and we'll just make this like a super simple gold color yes yeah, sir there we go and then for these little pieces on the side here we'll probably just grab this material again and then just make this um a darker gray than the one that we had 
for the actual blade. There we go. So that looks pretty nice. I like that. Make sure everything's lined up and looking good. And there we go. There's our little uh, there's our little uh, thing thing. But I think I want to grab the middle of this sword and then replace it with all of the with 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 this color here. Um, and I think I might want to change this color a little bit. It might be a little too off. Maybe we'll do. That's nice. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, and then we'll add a little bit of shading so we can shade this one. I'll hit this little color again, and then we'll just drop this down a little bit, add a little bit more blue, and this will be like kind of a, a shaded version of that. Um, get rid of this piece too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Maybe a little too much blue we added. There we go. Um, all right, there we go. Cool. Same thing with this. I'll go ahead and duplicate. I could have just left that one. What am I doing? Um, yeah. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And the last thing I want to do is the highlight. So we'll grab uh, this one right here. Just brighten the color a bit and then just get rid of maybe those those voxels. And then we'll kind of just move them around there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Very, very cool stuff. Maybe we'll skip a, a, a voxel and put one there. Maybe we'll wrap that around to this side as well. Very, very nice. All right. So there you go. That's our, that actually looks really nice. Um, that's our, uh, that's our little thing there. That's good. That looks, that's looking good. I like that. Maybe we'll change the color of this yellow. It's, it's a little like spit up-y. It's kind of vomity. Now, the last thing I want to do is go ahead and go to the main tab here, scroll on down the color management, and then, um, change the, the view look from AGX to standard. So things look a little bit more like how the actual colors will look. And then any colors you want to go ahead and touch up, you can go ahead and do that. We probably should do that at the beginning, but um let's go ahead and maybe just add a little bit more color to the steel maybe a little brighter maybe a little bit more there there you go that's nice i love that that's very cool maybe this is a little bright now potentially maybe we'll just like darken this just this one that's down here oh yeah there we go so that one's not as bright and we like it fades up a little bit yeah yeah i like that that's very cool very very cool very cool okay um now with that done uh, we have the ability to go ahead and kind of merge everything together because right now if you were to look at this You can see that it does look really cool, but they are able to be picked apart obviously So let's go ahead and fix that by uh, grabbing everything by just dragging dragging up dragging by dragging a box over it Let's just drag a box over top of it And then uh, there's a couple different ways we can do this But the simplest way is to just go ahead and if you tab you can see we have all these all these boxes all together here. What I want to do is right click this and we'll go ahead and um, actually we'll join them first. Let's go ahead and uh, stay here and then we'll right click and then join. So with without being in edit mode, we'll just right click join um, and then we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. Once again, hit X and then we can we can hit uh, dissolve. Wait, no, wait, 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 there we go. Here, we can just right click low key. The right click also works. Right click and then we'll just go merge vertices by distance and as you can see it says remove 408 vertices because before before we did this if i was to go ahead and, and grab a vertice right if i was to grab a vertice and move it you could see that uh, there's other like vertices there still even though this is one object there's like more than one vertice right there yeah, as you can see like it kind of has a bunch in that one spot and they're all kind of like, overlapping each other so when we go ahead and select everything and then right click merge vertices by distance you can see that when we move it now it no longer has four vertices there and they're all one vertice, which is exactly what we need. This is like the most important step of this. If you do happen to follow this tutorial or, or, or do this for yourself, you do have to do this. Like I said, there's a couple other ways to do it, but this is a, a super simple way of doing it. Um, it looks really nice and we just saved a bunch of resources by getting rid of those extra vertices that will cause you some problems if you were to go ahead and rig this or use it in an, anim in an animation or use it in whatever, whatever have you, various different things. So. That's nice. The last thing I'm going to do is if we were to rotate this, you can see it rotates on that weird angle right there because the origin is right here on the white dot. Let's go ahead and put the origin on this uh, this piece right here so it rotates a little more properly. And, and to do that, let's go ahead and remember when I told you to put that little cursor right there in the center? Yes, I hope you listen to that because we're going to use that right now. All right, let's go ahead and um, go up to the top here. Go to Object and then set origin origin to 3d cursor there you go and when we double tap r now you can see it rotates on the uh little the little handle there which is exactly what you would most likely want if you were going ahead and using this so there you go get get the slice and some enemies duh, duh, duh. there you go very very cool so i hope you guys enjoyed it there is some other cool things you can do like you could go ahead go ahead and go into uh tab hit edit mode grab face like mode grab all the faces you want to pull up like this just maybe all these faces for the sword right and then hit e to extrude and then you can extrude them upwards um and then of course you need to go ahead and grab all these edges on the side here and then change them to their oops, change or change them to their respective color now we won't go ahead and do the entire thing all the way around just so i can show you guys for today but 
um, we can go ahead and grab that color hit assign and then boom there you go now it's looking good or you can go ahead and do something even crazier add a brand new material and then assign uh, that color and then and then uh and then go ahead and just drag that color down give it a nice little edge so it looks a little different than the top of the sword there you go so you can do something like that have it have like a nice little 3d edge to it um, you can do the same thing with the with the emerald, obviously. Oh, why do I keep doing that, brother? The 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 ruby as well. You can pull that up. Maybe even make it a little a small like that. I mean, there's no there's no rules, you know. There's no there's no rules. Just grab all those edges, and then um, uh, hit that. Hit assign. Oh, the sign. There we go. And then uh, go ahead and duplicate that material. Just drag it down a little bit. Maybe add a little bit more pink, and then grab that. Oh, we'll grab the top face again. Um, and then reassign the red, the original red. Oh, wait, wait. It didn't duplicate. Oh, that's why. Okay, wait. We'll just do that. Do that. Drag it back up. Um, new material. Boop, boop, boop. All right, a little sloppy, but you guys get the idea. But yeah, so you got, you, you can make some really, really cool, uh, really, really cool designs here. And do some really fun things with this um, ordeal and have a little bit of that roughness on there. See that metallic on there? Ooh, look at that. Wow. Ooh ruby very cool but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you guys in the next one um but until then bye, -bye.